Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a bread and butter bolo video here for you. 28 bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for decent margins. These items sold for $35 or less, and they're typically easier to find items. So let's get started. All right, the first item is this Coca-Cola ornament. Hallmark ornaments, ornaments in general, are a great bread and butter item. And I sell ornaments all year long. Sorry guys, I'm sitting on the floor. Um, I'm trying to be closer to my, uh, is it my router? So that I get better reception and I'm not having like choppiness, but I've got to find a better way to sit because this is not working. Um, all right, so I took a best offer on this for $12.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. And I got this out of a mystery box. The next item I sold is this not parent approved game. Not something I would have picked up, but it was sealed. I picked it up in a mystery box. So I went ahead and listed it. It actually sold really fast for $14.76 and the buyer paid shipping. I'm not sure what it's all about, but it says not parent approved. So I don't know. The next item I picked up at a garage sale. And it's um, a Matchbox replacement octopus from the Pirate Ship Mega Rig building system. And I sold this for $28.69 and the buyer paid shipping and I have about 50 cents in it. The next item is this 1997 Mistletoe Magic Collection Christmas ornament. Came in a mystery box. I never would have picked it up because number one, it was sold at Walmart. It wasn't like... Hallmark or um, Christopher Radko or, you know, some of the fancier ornaments, not even fancy, but more well-known. It was just a Walmart uh, ornament that retailed for $2.97. And I'm like, I looked it up and it actually had decent comps. And I'm like, okay, but I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known to buy it. So uh, I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So I was thrilled with that. And I usually take it out of the box and put it in my hand to show size and just to give people a better view at different angles. The next item I sold are these Taco Bell talking chihuahua dogs. I know that these are a bolo. They're like from, and they're a bread and butter bolo, but they're like Taco Bell dogs. Like you got them at Taco Bell, like a, like a Happy Meal toy. And I got these at a garage sale for a buck and they sold really fast for $12.30 and the buyer paid shipping. And I have a Happy Meal toy bolo video. Um, it's I call them my bolo category videos. Go check that out and you can see other big money bolos that are Happy Meal toys. Yeah, it's a thing. The next item I sold is this vintage pine cone elf gnome Christmas ornament, Japan, and it's putts. This came from a thrift store and it was kind of in a bulk buy. So I probably had like 50 cents in it. It sold for $24.59 and the buyer paid shipping and he's really, really cute. But you know, he's vintage and he's got some uh, wear on him. But yeah, isn't he cute? He's so cute. He's a bolo. The next item I sold is this ornament. It's a Star Trek Starfighter ornament from 1998 and it came in a mystery box and I sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. And you guys hear me talk about the mystery boxes. Trust me, I donate, I would say 80 to 90% of the stuff that I get in the mystery boxes. So they're not all wins. The next item I sold is this Boyd's Bear collectible red Nose reindeer moose plush. I got it at a garage sale for a quarter. I do pretty well with Boyd's. This one was well loved, you know, so um, I only bought it because it was a quarter and it was a reindeer. And I sold it for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this special edition Barbie Maria and the Sound of from the Sound of Music, 1995. So it is vintage. And I sold this for $33.43. I picked it up at a garage sale with a bunch of other Barbies for $4 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Care Bears Cousin Elephant. It's a plush stuffed animal. Um, it's from 2004. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for $15 and 83 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. Okay. This one. So long tail. I don't even know how long I've had it. I bought it with a bunch of patterns. I decided to list this one 
and it just took the right buyer. Um, I did sell it for the full asking price of $14 and 25 cents and the buyer did pay shipping and they were thrilled to have it. They left me great feedback, but it took a long time to sell, but it doesn't take up much space and I probably had like pennies in it. So the next item I picked up at a garage sale it was really interesting. It's a lamp light farms oil candle lamp, but it had Mickey on it. So I'm like, Hmm, it was a dollar. So I went ahead and bought it. And I took a best offer of $29 and 10 cents in the buyer paid shipping. I don't know what a lamp light is, so I don't really know what it does, but it's cute. It's got Mickey. I sold another Boyd's frog, this glass Boyd's frog. Uh, let me see. You can kind of see it's kind of a, uh, I almost said triangle, a diamond shape with a B in it. And this sold for $13, the buyer paid shipping. And I got these in a bundle, I probably have 10 or 15 cents in it. I'm not really sure. I can't remember the exact amount. The next item I sold is this NASCAR 1000 piece jigsaw sealed puzzle. And I really thought this was going to be a long tail item and it sold fairly quickly. Sold it for $21.99. I got it at a garage sale for $1 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came in a mystery box and I sold this for $14. It's a Department 56 nurse Christmas ornament. It is pre-owned and the buyer did pay shipping. Okay, so these are the Polly Pockets and these are the vintage ones from the Blue Bluebird. So um, they say Bluebird, the vintage ones on the bottom of the um, the case, the play sets. The, I don't think the dolls are marked, but I sold these for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. These came in... Um, I got one of the sets and it was kind of like missing the slide. So I sold that separately and I don't think these characters went with it. So I just decided to auction them separately and they came in a mystery box. The next item is this 1980 Mattel gold metal bed. It's for a, a dollhouse. And I sold this for $13. I picked it up at a garage sale and a, a lot of um, dollhouse miniatures. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. Okay, this is a good one. This guy is Hulk. He's the Hulk villain toy and he got some attention. I sold him for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked him up at a garage sale probably for a dollar or less. The next item are these Blues Clues and You plush and minifigures. This came from a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I was like in the mood to look on Facebook Marketplace and I got a crazy good deal on a bunch of toys. I had no idea how good the deal was until I came home and looked up comps, but it was somebody who was like cleaning out their kids' toys and was just like trying to move it. I definitely lucked out. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Bratz Boys doll. I bought two of these the same day. They were $5 each. Uh, this one sold for $28.69 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Christmas Putts House, and I sold this for $16.40, and the buyer paid shipping. This one actually went a little higher than I expected. I'm surprised they didn't make an offer. It is marked Japan on the bottom, so these are called Putts Houses, and um, sometimes I lot these. I did have somebody buy one just because they needed the, like, the window area here from another one, and I think they were going to put it on theirs. I'm not really sure, but they were really concerned that the, the window was intact. And so I, I don't know. So people buy them for different reasons. The next item I sold is this cashmere bouquet vintage soap. And I sold two of them to one person. That's in another video. And this one I sold for $22.96. It's a three pack of vintage soap. The buyer paid shipping. I got this at a thrift store for $1.50. The next item I sold are these Buzza greeting cards and somebody internationally bought them and they were not really, I don't think they were really happy about the fact that they had to pay customs and go through the global shipping because they're like, I can't believe I'm paying this much for cards. And I took a best offer of $20, but I think it was more the customs fees and all of that stuff. But um, they're super, super cute, but they collect Buzza cards. So pretty cool. The next item I sold is this Willow Tree Guardian Angel. Um, it's from 2000 and I sold this for $16.39. I picked it up at a garage sale for three bucks. I typically pick up Willow Tree when it's cheap because I 
tend to do pretty well with it. It's usually bread and butter, but sometimes some of them go for a little more. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next one is this Bah Humbug Scrooge Santa hat. And I picked this up in a mystery box and I sold it for $13.93 in the buyer paid shipping. Just a fun little hat. This tie either came from a thrift store or a garage sale. I can't remember. Um, but it's new in Lingwood men's tie. It's made in England. It's silk. I took a best offer of $25 on this in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Jim Shore Heartwood Creek Santa with Bell dated 2002 and I've done pretty well with Jim Shore. This sold super fast. It came in a mystery box and I sold it for $25 and 90 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is this in loving memory dog ornament. It was new old stock. Um, I sold it for $14. It came in a mystery box and it sold super fast. So, you know, I think, um, things like this that say in loving memory and it's got the picture you can, where you can put a, a picture in of your animal, you know, it's definitely something that somebody may have want that recently lost a pet. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Drop me a comment. Um, let me know what your favorite bolo was. Let me know um, what your favorite items to sell are. Are you a clothing seller trying to branch out like I was? I mean, that's all I sold you guys was clothes. And um, I am so glad I got out of clothes. Measurements. Pfft. So anyway, thanks for being here. Uh, check out some of the videos popping up. Check out another video and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.